What do you see as the difference from co uh, uh, cognitive, not from the standpoint of, uh, as you just described it, a general description, but how someone goes about addressing cognitive? Is the, is the um, assessment process different? Is the overall evaluation process, the implementation, what's similar and what's different with intelligent as opposed to uh, maybe more traditional RPA? Traditional RPA is more about automating uh, manual human actions for processes where the steps are well defined. Whereas uh, for the cognitive automation, the entire approach is knowledge based. Knowledge which uh, is based on past experiences uh, in the form of uh, human judgment, human actions, the various tickets that have been raised, the exceptions which have been logged as part of the system logs in the underlying applications and using all of those sources of truth to build knowledge or I would say the brain for an enterprise mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then use that knowledge and apply machine learning and the cognitive technologies to derive insights and patterns uh, and predict outcomes. Okay, so it's clear from my experience that uh, there's a lot more upside, a lot more scalability uh, when one is involved with intelligent automation or cognitive. However, it's, uh, it's a bit more complex, requires more work on the front end. Is that fair to say? There's just more to it. It's not as simple as maybe a one-week uh, POC based on something that's already, uh, 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 already defined. Uh, there's a task, it's mapped out, uh, and then you get to prove it out, right? It is, is it fair to say there's more work on the front end with regard to this type of a cognitive approach? Well, uh, yes, the short answer is that it is more work compared to the traditional RPA, but it is not as long as uh, even the traditional approach of uh, you know, working on any uh, new initiative. Uh, you know, just uh, to be very specific, uh, here the entire approach uh, is still uh, a couple of months uh, and not, you know, uh, uh, five to six months. Okay, okay. So, but here's the question. I have many uh, that I speak to that we're, uh, who have uh, started dabbling with RPA um, and as they become familiar with cognitive, mm -hmm. uh, more cognitive uh, solutions, they think back and uh, they wonder if they should have skipped RPA and gone right to cognitive. Is that necessarily the case, or is, still, is, is RPA still, in many cases, a logical first step? It all depends on which processes you would like to automate. Uh, processes uh, which are deterministic uh, and rules driven, you really don't need to apply any kind of machine learning uh, or cognitive technologies to drive automation. But for the complex ones, where you would like to derive insights and patterns and predict outcomes, that is where you would apply uh, the cognitive technologies to drive automation. And uh, the other most important aspect of uh, cognitive automation is that it is a continuous learning uh, and it also comes with self-healing as well, uh, which is uh, you know, largely either unviable in the current scenario where you have large volumes of data and uh, cannot apply, uh, you know, or uh, you know, put humans to derive insights, okay. but which is now possible using uh, the vast computing power which is available. Okay, that's interesting. So is it fair to say that's why uh, you see um, cognitive and AI-centric solutions fairly predominant in healthcare, if you will, or even some uh, medical research? I assume that's because if you think of the volume of documents, maybe even the legal standpoint, right, with this volume of documents that might take uh, man years, if you will, to go through, I guess if you have the benefit of some sort of a cognitive or AI approach, you get to get through those documents faster. So those are good examples uh, if you really look at uh, you know, generic problems out there where you want to apply uh, AI and cognitive technologies uh, you know, for, uh, I would say, uh, you know, common uh, you know, examples like this. But when we look at enterprise, uh, there are very limited solutions out there. And hence uh, the need for uh, kind of AI for an enterprise, where uh, the entire knowledge is within an enterprise and having a well-defined knowledge-based approach 
to uh, generate insights from that knowledge and provide uh, solutions for their context, for their ecosystem and drive more automation. Um, I haven't seen a deal done without a business case yet. My sense is that um, with regard to a, an automation, uh, an intelligent automation centric deal, the business case is more powerful. Is that, uh, do you agree with that? And then uh, the follow on question is how is it different, the business case? So I would say depending on the type of the processes, uh, the automation benefits uh, would still be in the range of 40 to 70 percent or in some scenarios it could even be 90 percent. Uh, with respect to cognitive automation, it's about a different approach where the enterprises now work from a kind of a reactive approach to a more proactive one by leveraging all the sources of truth applying machine learning and bringing in uh, predictive uh, type of uh, insights to drive more automations. Automations which can drive uh, the robots for self-healing capabilities and uh, which would uh, eliminate uh, human effort uh, rather than uh, you know optimizing Right, so I see. So I see the benefits there much greater from the standpoint of it's it's not only it's it's way beyond automating the process that you're comfortable with. Over time, I would uh, from what I've seen greater efficiencies. It takes you it takes it to the next level, right? right. You, so you still get the benefits of cost save. You still get the benefits of speed and scalability. But as as this is uh, a, more of a self learning, self healing, uh, the the scale, if you will, and the improvement and the optimization. Uh, becomes greater, greater and more apparent over time. Absolutely. Would you agree with that? Yes. So for those enterprise leaders that are on the front end of this, uh, wondering where to start, there are obviously more options today than they may have been several years ago, but as they, as they look to RPA and or more intelligent cognitive automation, how do you recommend, uh, where do you recommend they start? For enterprises uh, who have not yet started on any kind of automation, um, I would advise uh, to start with uh, the RPA automations uh, for processes which are deterministic in nature. And in parallel, you can also uh, start on the cognitive automation by getting all the sources of truth into the knowledge platform and applying the machine learning uh, technologies, applying machine learning and cognitive technologies to drive uh, more automation. Okay, and so in that scenario, ultimately you'd have the benefits of both on the back Absolutely. end. Absolutely. Great, Duresh, thank you so much. Thank you, Frank.